Combaten a tres rounds de tres por uno. In the blue corner, we Sergio have three Castles. rounds of action in the cruiserweight division. Maxi Dagata in the blue corner, Daniel Rosetto in the red corner, both from Argentina. Maxi fighting out of the Team Jet and Daniel Rosetta out of the Dojo Serpent. Dagata is 37 years old, he's 1.84 meters tall. Right-handed, he's had 34 fights. This is going to be his second fight in the WGP. And Daniel Rosetta has he is 31 years old, he's 1.96 meters tall, and he starts off the fight, Daniel Rosetta, with a low kick to the left leg of Dagata. Both of these fighters a little bit inexperienced. We can see right off the bat throwing wild punches out all over the place. There goes a sliding inside kick from Rosetta. Maxi Dagata, a little bit good kick, leg kick from Dagata. Roundhouse kick high coming from Daniel Rosetto. He is a very tall fighter, 1.96 meters tall. Oh, and there goes a good right hand but by Dagata, but it was countered with a beautiful left hook from Rosetto, knocking Dagata to the ground. Now he's getting his eight count as Rosetto stands in the corner waiting for the referee to call him back in. Both the fighters throwing leg kicks. Daniel Rosetta standing with a good boxing stance, a good fighting stance. A little bit calmer, good right hand counter from Rosetto. As Maxi Dagata is moving in, a little bit uncontrolled, wildly. It was a spinning back kick from Dagata. His knee was way too wide. Way off the mark. Leg kick from Dagata as he's. We can see Rosetta, definitely the calmer of the two. Standing there, waiting, feeling out. Dagata, what he's going to do is Dagata's using up a lot of energy, moving in very fast and aggressively. Rosetta just waiting. He's got a great counter with his left hook as he's moving back. And you see another leg kick from Dagata. A little bit off the mark, but still he's trying to get those leg kicks in. There's a leg kick from Rosetto. Another leg kick from Dagata. Followed by a jumping in right overhand, right cross, missing the mark. Maxi Ragata moving around a little bit more. Using a little bit more footwork. A little bit more fakes a little bit. Trying to set something up. Definitely he's feeling that height advantage from Rosetto. Good kick from Maxi Ragata. And we're in the first round of this three round cruiserweight fight. These guys have a lot of power. And there goes a good left again, a left hook combination. Counter punch from Rosetto. And there goes the bell for the end of the first round. Daniel Rosetto not looking all that happy as he moves back into the corner. Maxi Dagara, a little bit more serious look on his face. We saw him smiling a couple of times during that first round. Right back, folks, with the second round of this cruiserweight fight.
round two of this three round scheduled fight of the cruiserweight division here in Argentina. Daniel Rosetto in the red corner and Maxi Ragat in the blue corner. Leg kick, two leg kicks from Dagata against the much taller Daniel Rosetta. Oh, and there goes a good spinning back kick from Maxi Dagata. Trying to use that. Oh, and there goes a roundhouse kick from Rosetta, just missing Maxi Dagata. Oh, and a good leg kick from Dagata as he can hear that smack on Rosetta's leg. And there he goes again with another roundhouse kick to that left leg. And we can see the red welt starting to appear. We can see Dagata's got some coaching from his corner to start pounding away on that left leg. And he has done a good job of that this round. At least three very clean roundhouse kicks to that left leg. There he goes again. He's wasting a lot of energy. Rosetta tying him up. There goes another leg kick from see the difference in height. Daniel Rosetta is a much, much taller fighter. There goes Max Dagata using a little bit of his footwork. Again, moving around. There's a good combination left and a right and a roundhouse kick from Rosetta. And we see Max Dagata throwing a little bit wild now. Using a lot of energy when he throws those overhand rights. Daniel Rosetto still looking calm, just moving forward. There he goes, throwing a few jabs with that front leg. The referee breaking them up again. Both of these guys are pretty, very new to the WGP kickboxing organization. Maxida got us still trying to pound away on that leg. Not as effective as he was in the beginning of this round. It was almost spinning into a spinning back fist. Rosetta is standing firm, but that's about all he is doing. He's not throwing a lot of combinations there. There was a slip. Referee calls it as a slip. Oh, and there was a good roundhouse kick from Maxida Agata to that left leg again. Daniel Rosetta not able to find his distance that much. Those much longer legs. Oh, and there goes a good sliding in front leg side kick, just brushing off the abdomen of Daniel Rosetta. And Rosetta looks with a little bit of anger in his eyes as he walks back to his corner one more time. That round definitely went to Max Adaga. Round three of this three round scheduled fight in the cruiserweight division live from Argentina. And we see Maxi Dagata using a little bit of his distance a little bit better this time. And there goes a good front kick from Rosetto. Oh, and a good roundhouse back leg, roundhouse kick from Maxi Dagata. Very strong. He's using, capitalizing on that break he has just had. There goes a good front leg roundhouse kick. And uh, followed by a counter roundhouse kick from Rosetto. There's a, an attempt at an uppercut from Maxi Dagara. Oh, and there goes an axe kick from Maxi Dagara, catching himself on the rope as he missed 
Daniel Rosetto and he was almost sweeped on that one. Almost swept from that over the head axe kick. There goes a good left right combination followed by the right leg rounders kick from Maxi Dagata. You can see Daniel Rosetta trying to set up that those long legs with that front kick from the front leg. So far not being very effective. Another jab from Maxi Dagata from his left leg from the front. And there goes. Referee didn't break them up that time. Then Rosetta giving in a good right and a good left right combination from Dagata again. Then Rosetta looking awfully upset about the whole thing, but not doing a whole lot about his situation, his lot in life in this fight in the cruiserweight division. Another good left leg side kick from Maxi Dagata. Oh, and a good left hook from Maxi Dagata catching Rosetta on the right side of his face. There was a good right hand, right hook from Demi Rosetta just missing. Now we see Rosetta livening up a bit, but a good counter from, with a left jab from Maxi Dagata catching Rosetta right on the chin. Couple of jabs trying to set something up, and there goes my pet peeve, the spinning back kick when you are tired. Once again, we see Daniel Rosetto using, twice now we've seen him use in this fight. It's called a twisting kick from old International Taekwondo Federation. Absolutely useless in kickboxing. There goes a good left leg kick from Daniel Rosetta. Ties up Maxi Dagara as they go into the clinch. And referee breaks them, breaks them up this time. Another jab from the right leg of of Maxi Dagara. And there goes the end of the third round. The fighters showing their respect for one another. And that was the end of this second fight. The cruiserweight K1 rules undercard. And we see both fighters expressing their joy of what they think is their win. I'm going to have to give this one to Maxi Dagara. What do you guys think out there in Fightland? Send us a note. Let us know what you think before the decision comes down. We'll be right back with the judge's official decision. And we are back with the judges' official decision. In this cruiserweight fight. And the winner is Maxi Dagata from Buenos Aires, Argentina.